Friends, I gotta show you something. Okay, we're building this ax, and I wanna show you, <clears throat> I've explained this quite a few times about when, you, when you're building an ax, okay? Like, like this, this is a, a toe, a long toed ax. It's a splitting freaking demon. 32 inch handle, but I, I want you to see something. I just, I've been seating this thing for the last, oh, I don't know, I've been playing around for about an hour, just in the fit, okay? Now, uh, look at a couple things. Okay, so it's on the head really tight, but the kerf, now I'm past the kerf. So uh, what I really like when I'm making an ax is I go, I need to be able to get past the kerf without closing it so I can fit a wedge in it, right? You gotta get a wedge in there. It's, Cause I spread my, my wood over top. I stay proud like this and I spread my wood. So you gotta have space for a wedge. It's just it's what you should be doing. That's what I say. You can do whatever you want, but that's just what I suggest to you. Uh, I want you to check something out. Watch this. Okay, there's no wedges in it. It's a dry fit. Look friends, there's nothing, there's nothing. Look, <laughs> check this out. <laughs> Now the only reason I can do this is because there's a humongous knot or this would split, right? I'll put you right up close. Look, see, here, I'll, I'll put you down. See, see this great big knot right here? It's massive, I'll put you down a little bit further. There it is there. Now, the only reason I can smash this and then see how nice that comes out of there? It's because of this profile, you see? But watch this, okay? Check it out. The freaking head is not moving. I've done it about eight or 10 times before I went and called you guys. Look, look at this. It's not even moving. Friends, look. <laughs> so I'm just saying you can, if you take your time on fitting your axes, you can make yourself a wicked, wicked fit. This is gonna be a groovy ax. So I'm just talking to the fella right now that's gonna get this ax, because I know who it is, but he doesn't. So that's the cool thing. Here's your ax, buddy. We're almost done the fit. Uh, I'm jumping on a boat here, but I gotta, I wanna get, make sure that you guys get your stuff for Christmas. So that's what we're doing. So anyway, so it's not quite, I'm, I'm, not, gonna, I'm not gonna pound it down right now. I'm, I'm not gonna pound it down. We're close, friends. See, we're, we are, we're literally, we're really close. But I, I don't want to pound that down. I can see I need to take a little teeny bit more wood here and there. I don't want to pound it because you can break wood. You can literally sliver out and break wood. This is going to be a wicked axe. Really nice. How hard that to come out. Let me show you. Let me show you something. Watch. See? So now once I get it to here, right? Like the kerf, you'll probably just see here. I should be able to get that by hand now. Yeah. Show you what I'm talking about. There's the kerf right there. So once you go past the kerf, right? You can, you can really get tight. That helps your overall fit, right? Look at this. See, look, we're not, we're not, we're not even Friends, we're not even uh, uh, curling wood everywhere. Look at the other side. There's the hardly any curl at all. We're biting a little bit there. I'll clean that up. But I want this to go down another little teeny bit and it's gonna be a done deal. But did you, I was you using it like an ax. It wasn't going anywhere. That's what I'm talking about. This is gonna be a wicked ax. I'm stoked. I love these handles, love them. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a minute.